What is your opinion of Rheem vs. Bryant air conditioners? Rheem should be spelled R-E-A-M. Do you think Rheem is a ripoff? For every 5-star review, there are two 1-star reviews. And some of them beg for the ability to give it 0 stars. I wonder what is wrong with them. They break at least once a year, on average. And even if the part is covered under their bikini-sized warranty, you have to pay for labor and refrigerant. Refrigerant is not much of an issue. The Rheem ACs tend to have leaks from the condensers and pipes, so all their major repairs are accompanied by a $300 bill to refill the refrigerant. Okay, that's bad. Actually, that's worse if that is on top of the $200 labor bill. Then there's the fact that their motors keep going out and the valves leak. It sounds like everything breaks. I'd hate to own an AC like that. HVAC companies love to sell them, though. Probably for the guaranteed employment it provides, since they can replace a few one week and then the control of the next. That might be double dipping on repairs, like replacing a valve and an O2 sensor on a car because you don't know why the check engine light is on. Rheem ACs are so unreliable that it is reasonable that so many things did break. So now we are down to Bryant. Bryant says it puts strict standards on their dealers that are supposed to weed out the shady dealers that sell undersized or oversized equipment or use inexperienced installers. However, they charge a lot more for every type of work you need. That is why cartels are illegal in every type of business. In theory, Bryant has better technical support because they require all their technicians to be NEAT certified. They have a 10-year warranty if the unit is registered, 5 if they don't. Brian sounds better than Reem in every way shape and form.